Hi, I'm Jimmy Butler, and welcome to the Agile Digest, where we have right-sized topics covered in just minutes. Today's topic is, does velocity matter? It's about five minutes, so enjoy. What is velocity? Well, it's simply a measure of output unique to an individual team. So it's often represented as a number, like story points, and it's the average number of story points the team completes each sprint. So in this example, we have a chart showing that the team is doing a certain number of story points each iteration or sprint, and there's some fluctuation there. And in order to be able to predict what the team might be able to accomplish the next sprint, you would either take the average of these or you might look over the last couple of iterations and see where the team has been trending, and that'll give you an idea of what you might be able to commit to and what you might be able to accomplish the next sprint. To put this into context a little bit, we're going to refer back to the digest we did on relative estimation, and we'll bring in story point. So story point is just a number that corresponds to some relative size. And so with relative estimation, what you're doing is just comparing one thing to another, like how big is this compared to that? And then we tend to lay things out in terms of buckets, like small, medium, and large. Well, so the story point then is just a number that's assigned to those relative sizes. And a common way to do that is to use the Fibonacci scale, which consists of 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. So why would we use these story points? Well, frankly, it's easier to estimate versus absolute hours. So, for example, if I were to say how long would it take to eat each of these fruit, in absolute minutes or hours, I mean, we, it would be harder to do. But I can more easily say that the grape is the easiest thing to eat and the orange is the hardest and everything else is in between. And so I can put some kind of relative t-shirt size to them from extra small to large. And then when I put a number to them, I can then use that calculation to help me with an average of, you know, how well my team does each and every sprint at producing output. It's a lot harder to say we can do three mediums, two larges, and eight smalls because there can be any number of combinations of small, medium, and large work you can do. But when you put numbers to them, you'll be able to average that out. And so that's why we use story points. So what about velocity in terms of productivity? Which team is more productive? A team that's doing 22 story points or the team that's doing 45 story points? Well, you can guess it's a trick question, and it is, because the answer is we cannot know from story points. You see, each team has their own way of relatively estimating stories. You know, what one team feels is a small might be different from another team. And then what one numerical value they choose in story points is likely going to vary as well. And so the size of the team also influences the number of overall points the team can do. So while velocity can help you plan what you might be able to accomplish the next sprint, it's not a productivity measure. Are story points necessary? Well, that depends. I think if it's important to you to know what you can fit into this sprint or the next sprint, story points is a great way to help you do that. And it starts with relative sizing. We've talked about the t-shirt sizes, a small, medium, large, but it could really be anything that has some kind of relative scale. I mean, it could be dog breeds, for, for example. And once you understand that relative size, you then assign a number to it, like a story point, so that you have some kind of numerical value to calculate against. And then you can learn your team's velocity because you add up the number of story points completed as associated with each user story, and that becomes your velocity. And then you can compare that against your estimated backlog, which is also estimated in story points, and that's going to allow you to predict and plan so that you can look through and say, okay, I think I can probably knock off these six stories the next spring. Print. Now, does it have to be story points? Well, be to be fair, no, um, but that's a whole other topic. Story points is a very common, a very proven, and a very easy way, though, to allocate some kind of measure to these relative sizes to allow you to understand what you're going to be able to accomplish as a team. So I asked the question, does velocity matter? And it absolutely does, but you got to be careful. Because it's great for predicting upcoming sprints, and it's great for understanding team's throughput, but it's not a measure of productivity, and it's not a tool for team comparison. So if you're using velocity to try to measure the productivity of individuals or teams, or to compare one team to another, it's being used out of its purpose and out of its context. And in that sense, it won't provide you any value. But if you're using velocity as a way to measure and determine what you might be able to get done the next sprint, then it does matter. Well, that concludes this digest. I always welcome your feedback, so please email me at the email address on the screen. Thank you.